on. We're live. It's um, Michael. This is Wednesday uh, pairing on website one. Um, right. Uh, one thing I have managed to do is I have made like a very scrappy little bot. Like, like, look at my async bot. This is an async bot that I've got that's like <coughs> currently managing a uh, asynchronous vote in the async voter channel for me. Where is it? Um, but I'm quite pleased with. But there are so many other things going on that we should probably focus on. I guess the, the two things. One is that the um, one thing that's happened is that. Say again? Uh, how does it interact with? Uh... Basically, it's. Um, I've created a bot integration on Slack, which gives me a token. And then I'm using BotKit, uh, which basically allows you to just, it's almost like Cucumber, right? You pattern match against something, and then you tell it to set them, and then it responds. OK. So, so I just I say start vote, and it, it does it. I was just I was getting really antsy last night about, you know, with async voter, we're like building all this stuff. We've built all this like restful core and you know, like people are now, they're doing like refactoring tickets, like refactor bits of the cucumber. And I'm like, we don't actually have, you know, like nothing, nothing of the activity that I was hoping to automate has yet been automated. Right. And I was kind of like, we just like actually must automate something. And so I've, I've kind of at least partially, this is what I call like my semi automated approach in that, you know, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm running this like locally. I can see the, um, uh, I can see the um, incoming messages here from people voting on the bot and uh, it's storing stuff and yes anyway so i'm quite pleased with that other things that have happened are this what oh they published it they published it so and maybe nothing whatsoever will happen i guess i have this 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 slight fear that a lot of people come to the site and the site will fall over and they'll say that's kind of sucks, and um, we'll kind of like not get anywhere. Uh, I guess we could be looking at the week. So it doesn't look like this <laughs> uptick in um, oh, it's, it's, it's biweekly. So so side activity is down, probably because it's not responding. Uh, so uh, I mean, I was looking at the I, I, I like we've we've improved the performance on the events page and the users page. It feels to me like the products page is a bit. Um, you know, sluggish. So that's something that could be worked on. Uh, I've actually got a vote running in the website one channel about that, which you could vote on if you felt so inclined. Or we could just do, do, do so I guess I was look two things. I, I was just I was inspecting the um, it running locally in the database query, and I think one of the things. I mean, it's spending like uh, two and a half minutes rendering the views and, and sorry, two and a half seconds rendering the views and one and a half seconds doing database queries. Um, Where are you getting this data from? I'm getting that data from the, if we go to website one here, this was here. So this is a load of the, um, somewhere here, yeah, get projects. So it, it like loads. Like loads of users. Why is it load yeah. so many users? Projects page, the list of projects. I don't know why it loads the users. <laughs> All those users. Anyway, um, it then uh, the 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 lots of little little bitty database connections is because it loads all of the documents individually, like for yeah. all of the projects. And I guess basically it's the support on the on the left hand side of this. We've got all of the current projects. Basically, we've got sort of a, a little bit of the issue that we had with the users page in that as new projects get added, they're all loaded to be shown here. I mean, we've got this pagination for like we're only showing the top, you know, five or six. So we have how many? We have a lot of database queries. There's basically what we're doing here on this page is we're loading. Look at look at look at all this. Yeah, we're yeah. basically loading all of the 
like we're loading all of the documents and then we're going through like the documents can be nested so in order to support i think like here we've got this arbitrary well it's it's you know it, it in order to have this be able to pop up as soon oh. as you're on this page it loads all of the documents individually for every project why does it have to load them and oh so like for each project for each project it kind of goes in and it gets all of the documents and it sort of fills in the page there and i think so it's basically getting the like here it, problems, so it's going to be like 50 queries yeah so it's basically it's it's not scaling very well like it as the number of projects goes up and then you know this page is taking longer to load in terms of number of projects and number of documents for each project mm -hmm. so uh yeah that's not i mean it made me think here like oh you know one thing would be just like well couldn't we just like load all the documents and not have to query the database separately for each of these i mean i haven't gone and looked at the query um but then get yeah, down here i mean i suspect maybe it's like I'm going to have a go and open the door. I'll be back in a second. All right. Sorry, that's my uncle arriving. Um, so here, this is on my local machine. Yeah, look, look, and this is it. N plus one query detected. <laughs> it's actually telling us here, look. Add to your finder includes documents. Sorry, are you there? Yes. Yes. Um, so actually here, the, the uh, active record is slower, is, is, is not much faster. I was looking, I had the, um, the logs from the, um, the main site up, and that was where it was like 2.5 to 1.5 seconds. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I, I suspect what's happening there is it's, you know, like the actual, a lot of these queries are being done as the view is assembled, and that was, that was what we were having with the events thing. So there's potentially a relatively easy fix there um, that we could work on. The other thing is then this, as I was mentioning to you, we encountered that issue that I didn't think we were going to encounter yet, um, which is that, uh, yeah, someone was, so one person who is sponsored by Croft Coding South Africa was trying to upgrade themselves. Um, yeah. They, in their mind, was not distinguishing between that they wanted to go up to the premium mob at twenty five pounds, but so going to their the homepage and seeing upgraded premium plus, they were like, oh yes, I'll just press that one. I guess they were assuming, not unreasonably, that uh, going there would um, upgrade them to the next the next level in price. Uh, so that's something that would also that, that also revealed a bug. So there's a there's a load of stuff there that should be done. Um, I'm I'm like, I just I find it quite frustrating that we've got Airbrake set up and it does all this like stuff, telling us about rack timeouts for longer than twenty seconds or whatever, but it doesn't. When there's actually a five hundred error on the site, maybe I'm just like completely misinterpreting what Airbrake is supposed to do. Um, 
like there it's like I mean that's obviously some some strange thing going on that we should want to work out but anyway so I, I went in I, I did actually finally use paper trail to get back to the relevant log error and I saw that to basically what happened here was the person who was being sponsored tried to upgrade to um, uh, Oh gosh! Oh no! Is, oh, sorry, I'm just getting I'm getting text messages from various people who are de requiring things of me, such as keys to my children and stuff. Uh, in my jacket, maybe. Uh, gosh. Anyway, uh, do you have a preference about which to work on? These are the two two things: project page speed or um, the payment stuff. Project page speed. Okay. Um, okay. So, do you want to drive on that since I'm being distracted by people doing silly things? Or would you prefer me to drive? I guess I was I was driving last. It is your turn to drive. Yeah, I guess. Yes, my wife has forgotten to take the keys for the scooters for my children. I'm going to go and get just get those out and put them by the door. Get up having a bad day. Uh, Miriam was saying something, but mm. now it seems down. Maybe you can still. Actually... What it'll be. Anyway, so we have. I think we have a ticket for this. I should be able to look at the Slack instance. Uh, hmm. No, I want to go to website one. Um, it probably pause it's it's, it's one three nine zero. Uh it's what? Uh one three nine zero. One three nine zero. Check out this one nine three zero. There's an interesting thing here, I guess, about whether we should have a you know, like a, a cucumber test for this that checks that there isn't this n plus one report or checks that it returns within a certain amount of time. I guess we didn't do that last time. I don't understand what you're saying, but anyway. Uh... Well, we're going to be looking at this performance issue, and I'm wondering if can we have a feature test that checks for performance being an appropriate level. And is that ridiculous over overkill? I mean, I, anyway, no. I guess we can. I don't think. Because how would it be adjusted? You'd have to adjust it for CI and everything too. Yeah, no, no, but I mean more for example, like it's actually <laughs> giving us this information in the log saying it's got an N plus one query detected. So we could have a test that checks for, I mean, it's the kind of thing I'd like, I wish um, code climate was, was detecting for us or what have you. Anyway. Forget about it. Let's let's focus on fixing the um the issue. That there's an n plus one query detector. You mean? Yeah, I mean that that's like you the, see. I mean, the, yeah. it here, right? Right. 
I mean, for me looking at this code, I was like, oh yeah, that looks like an M plus one query uh, issue. And then actually, oh look, Rails is telling us there isn't, it, it's detected one. Right, but I don't think that's like a really great acceptance test per se. No, okay, forget about it. Let's 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 uh, something to write and focus on trying to improve what's going on. If users are done. So here we do project study each. Right. And we project the listing. And projects itself. It's based, there's a query on the projects controller line 12, project order status ACS. Which is going to say, oh, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's going to put it. And then it includes the user for us, uh, but it doesn't include documents. But presumably. So. You know, go on. How would I actually. Well, the. the we could, I guess we yeah, could I, go, I, I, go on, go on. Go on. No, no. We're including the user, right? We're including the user. I mean, the, the, the log is suggesting that we include documents. And I understand that, I understand that. Okay. But how do I actually uh, test whether it improves things? Yes, like actually profile it. Yeah, well, why don't you run the server in another window and try loading the projects page? Oh, you're running the thing in the background. Um, it does take forever. They, they do take, they take 10 minutes on my system, actually, um, which is a long time. Server. I was just going to dive down into the individual so it's rendered listing for so we've got it's interesting because it's rendered the oh listing, okay. So the listing itself, yeah. So basically it's then doing project followers, project documents. There are there are calls well, out. Say that he doesn't test you eyes. Who said that? Bob Obama. Martin. Obama. Oh, no, Bob Martin. Bob Martin doesn't test you eyes. No? Yeah. Okay. Because he says they sh that should have some kind of state object that just trivially maps to a UI. Okay. Yes. And that then you just, I guess, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, that's faster too. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like a nice idea in principle. I just got an N plus one query detected, and that tells me, oh, active record actually didn't take that long. No, but I think oh. it's the active record is interspersed through the views, so I, I think that we may be able to reduce right. the view time. Querying the mm -hmm. views, yeah. You know. So if I say. So here we're at like 2.785 milliseconds, right? Mm -hmm. I do includes documents. Doc. Could you even do a single includes and have a uh, colon user comma doc, colon documents? I don't know. I don't know either. That would look nicer. Anyway. And I guess if you say that, you don't even need really to start the server. You can just reload the page. Can you? No. Let's see what is going on here. I really can't tell. Because where did I get the first? <sighs> Add to your finder includes documents. Right. Mm -hmm. So it seems like that just was bogus. It didn't work. Hmm. That suggestion to do to it that way. Mm -hmm. Maybe is this user or users? Users, right? 
I think it's should it be doc well maybe uh Now it's a user, include user, and then it's saying, oh, include documents. I'm just looking at um, the includes documentation, <laughs> and it seems to, it's what's interesting. I guess it's about the name of the relationship. It depends if it's like has one or has many. So it's include user. Well, I, I, I think include user would, would potentially just like the project probably belongs to one user. Yeah, yeah. But it maybe has many followers and so on. So include user will probably automatically bring in the um, the individual thing. It, uh, according to the, um, the the documentation, the suggestion that I made of is that you can pass. And uh, you know a list. Oh, but that may be. Uh, add to your finder includes children. Right. I think oh. is, is it because maybe there's different things because there's like documents and then there's children and goodness knows what what else. Like if we look at the projects model itself children was not found on project perhaps you misspelled it so we have has many documents there i think there's something in here that allows the document to be nested Is there a cause there a children method? I don't see the word children mentioned in the view. I mean, it doesn't really. Uh, oh. I think the children is is in document. I think documents have children. There's a. There's a nested relationship here, so I'll I guess I'll bring it onto this screen here. You see, you could see my screen. I'll put it in Slack for you as well. Um, it's taking container now. I mean, that doesn't really seem any faster. An example here of. Um, This nesting, and I guess the implication is that what we would want to do is do this project includes and so user of the existing one, and then we've got documents, and then we want to have um, what do we say? Well, children inside. So I've just done in the Slack the. It's oh, not, yes, sir. It's in the website one channel. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it doesn't. I'm not sure if that's really going to do anything. It doesn't seem remarkably more responsive. Mm -hmm. And I'm still seeing bullshit about M plus one queries. I'm still right. seeing mm -hmm. oh, your document, children. Yeah. OK. So maybe that the there's the document query is in a different place somehow. <sighs> Pro
projects control or index. Yeah, I'm still seeing a lot of queries about documents. Even I'm seeing, I think, a very different pattern of query about documents. On my screen or on yours? On my screen. OK. Uh, although it's taking an extremely long time to, uh, no, and then, then it goes, on. well, it looks like the, um, like the form of the initial query here. Like, mm -hmm. I, I have this now with like this and it looks to me here like it's attempting to do this you know this loading and that, that's a very different query than we saw before but then it gets onto here and it starts to do this and this is within layouts with sidebar sponsor right I don't know if that's related, but then we, we still get this full set of what have you, and I think it's what you're saying here, yeah, we're still getting this M plus one query detected. And I wonder if that's due to a, a query in a different place. Somewhere in the nesting or something. Uh, so, Projects index within layouts with sidebar sponsor, right? That's a lot of time in there. Yeah. Feel free to go back to your your code so you can navigate at, at will. So apparently this is being rendered with an at project, but that's the same. Oh, where are we getting at project? Cancel content. Where did you see the at project? Right here on line five. At five. Oh, okay. Oh, oh sorry, you're, you're, right, I was looking in the index thing. You've gone in for, so we've got, I'll, now that seems funny that that, that seems like an odd, where is this, this with sidebar sponsor right, where does that get, How does it know when to load a with sidebar sponsor right? Uh, yeah. We'll paginate projects, projects dot each do project render listing. With sidebar sponsor right. Hmm. I guess the projects controller. Okay. So that oh, okay, they're actually in the in the index in the projects controller. It's saying it wants to render with the layout with sidebar sponsor right. Yeah, but it's setting up projects for some reason. Right. I mean, I think it's. There's the layout, and then there's it. So the app projects is used like internally within the layout, right? And then that app project is used like within with uh, out in that external sidebar sponsor, right? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, but okay. Uh, like what sets up app project? I guess is what I would ask. Yeah, no, I I, I don't know what sets up app projects myself. I mean, what I'm just looking at. I mean, there is well. 
They were on line 94, oh, the, yeah, the index controller. 94, set plot. Yeah, yeah, I was. So the funny thing is that's set to only, but I don't know that it's that one, because it's the before action sets that to only occur on show, edit, update, and destroy, as per line 5 of that. So we're in the index page. Mm -hmm. But there's also this add to like add project is set in both that set project and add to feed beneath it. Um, that's also not going to be related. Mm. I, I wonder if I'm, I'm just going to try on my side, removing the rendering of the layout and just see how fast that loads. Uh -huh. And that doesn't seem to make any difference there. Hmm. I guess it's it's got a default layout with sidebar, which is where we sort of seem that. I'm going to try removing the the with sidebar layout. Okay, that's interesting. What are you looking at there? Are you, oh, you're looking for all the places where at project is defined. Mm -hmm. I mean, I by removing the um, Left sidebar. Okay, that's interesting. I think I've removed all of the um, M plus one queries. Really? What are you doing? I'm just, I'm sort of, uh, what I've done here is I, mm -hmm. I, I took out, I just commented out rendering this particular layout and I also commented out this sidebar uh, and so that allows me to reload the page like this I think it's still it's not the fastest thing in the world but at least when I run it now um, if we go, go here so the active record is is down significantly the view is still taking a while to load I mean and there's that you know, I, I have a, you know, we've got things like, are we caching these things? Or I would be with that something else, else to look into. But we get down to here. Oh, right, and actually documents. So in fact, all of that eager loading here is, is nothing. This is, this is, this query by itself in this central portion of the page, I think is actually not, is even telling me, telling me now, these are, Unused. I think that the M plus one stuff that it's talking about is completely unrelated to this app projects. Right. And yeah. But we just don't don't know where exactly it is. Right. The, the thing that it's it it's seems to me that layout. Yeah. Well, and the so and you identified that you've got an app an app project in this with sidebar sponsor right which we don't know where it's coming from, which I agree is disturbing. Um, I wonder if, like, I, I have a feeling that we have, that these, both of these layouts are being rendered. And that maybe it's actually in the with sidebar that we've got the M plus one query. Because if I pull back in that with sidebar, uh -huh. um, because there is, 
I guess on the main project page, yeah. So the, the, that the right hand side, side sidebar is this thing that pulls in the the users in, and, and so it sort of makes sense that that should have access to app project and where it gets from it is another issue. But so this is current projects there. So now having done that, that's giving all of this Extra. malarkey. Mm -hmm. And so that makes me think that it's this with sidebar. So this one is, hmm. But this also has at project as local. Right, but it's getting at project. I mean, that's. Oh, like, yeah, no, sure. Content for content with sidebar. And there's a projects controller. I mean, I'm not sure. Include user, right? Yeah. It's like, how does that? Where would that get that from? And it must be doing like a query over. I assume it must be doing the query over all the part. What I want to. Like these elements are within the left nav bar. Put an aside there. Nav ID sidebar. Mm. So You were going to ask a question. Yeah, I don't know. I just I don't see where it's getting that value. Out. No, well, have a look at this. So I was just I took the route of going from page here and like trying to work out what's the name of this top level thing, yeah. and it had an ID of sidebar, and I searched on that in the views thing, and I found this underscore sidebar <laughs> to the ERB and it has a method in here that says like current projects which is and then each with index and it's looping through it um, and then uh, ah here we go so it looks like the application helper has got a current projects thing in here and so I suspect that this is the place where it wants us to put includes uh, documents Like, like this. Okay. Wait, so let me see. What is this actually? Current projects dot each should focus. Right. I I mean I guess. I mean I'm still not sure how it decides to pull the, that sidebar in. I guess Right, so if it's got with sidebar here, okay, right. So we've got this, this thing is pulling in the left-hand sidebar. It's passing in the current project into that. And then within sidebar, it actually doesn't use projects in there. Like it's passing in It's 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 passing in this these locals, right? Yeah. But then it's actually not using them. There's no reference to those variables in here. And it's doing this, you know, current projects thing there. 
so now here, yeah, okay. So adding it there, it's still doing all of these things here, but the, at least on mine, this was like 350 before. I mean, the view is still taking a chunk of time. It's still doing the n plus one queries. No, I'm not getting that message anymore. But you're somehow you're loading each document. Well, there's some yeah, there's something else here about the the nesting of the documents here. So we're kind of so the current projects there. We've we've got that. Where do current projects go? It's here, right? We've got includes documents and children. So it's not. It, it's it like I can see here. I don't know. I was sort of thinking that this. And this is the products thing. We look for users, events, count the number of projects. So th this is the initial request to get the the projects like the first five of them, um, and then we get all the users, follows, count the number of documents, count the number of documents. This one here, this I presume is the projects like from the current projects query. And then because we've done includes here, it's included that that's, you can see here, it's like it said, okay, we've got, these are all the projects. That's the project IDs. Mm -hmm. It's now including the documents. It's doing a document load. And then this is like doing a, a load of all of the pair of the children of the documents. And so that's sort of all setting it up there and it's all in the, in the thing. But then something about the way it's operating means that it's still coming down through here and um, reloading those documents individually. So it's, I mean, it identified that we, we needed this includes, but it hasn't fixed the problem, I think, because of some aspects of the way in which this is looping. Mm -hmm. I wonder what this roots thing is. <sighs> roots. Oh, here we go. That's interesting. I mean, I'm kind of uh, slightly conflicted in that. I kind of want the, the, this. This this feels messy and silly, but it actually may not be the very source of the problem. Uh, I'd almost like to render the external without rendering the projects. So I wonder if I can do that. Render the external without rendering. Yeah, the, the, the layout. So, for example, I could just set it so that the projects was was nil here, mm -hmm. and then we can work out like, is it loaded? Like, how much of the time is loading the sidebar, and how much is it, you know, processing these five projects? So if we load that, no projects right now, fair enough. So there, we're doing all of that. What was the load time on all of this? Yeah. So actually, although that looks like a really messy query, and there was the M plus one stuff, mm -hmm. it yeah. takes less than a second to load. Um, which refocuses our analysis 
on you know although although the and as we went into there, I was kind of like, oh, 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 rather than having that current projects thing in the sidebar, wouldn't it be nice for this to be like, you know, projects that have had a hangout in the last six months and drop that down to, you know, half the number of things. But actually, in terms of the page load, it looks like our bigger issue is in the way in which the projects listing takes place. Yeah. I wonder, I mean, if I just take out, take out that, I will also take out and ignore uh, let's take out the sidebars and reload that page. Now that's interesting. That was super fast, wasn't it? So what did you do? I commented out some of our the things in the I've lost it in the project listing. Both the, the commit count and the project GPA. Right. And I wonder. Yep, without it looks to me are those going through some queries that's still not okay I'll have down here back in what's the time on that yeah i mean loading the views is now back up to two and a half seconds when it's got the um gpa element in there and i guess we're using the um we're using this. Have we made this a did we make this a gem? I think it's badges. Or maybe that's like an existing. I think what this is doing is it's probably um, acquiring. I think it's this thing that we created, right? And, and that's actually going out and loading something, right? And then parsing. I think that's yeah, it's like parsing it over the thing. So it's it's not cached is part of the problem there, isn't it? Um, so is that the main issue is the code climate? Uh, it, I think that's a big chunk of it. Like if I take that, where is it? It's the project listing. If we take that out, um, when we reload, come back. When we reload the page, yeah, it's pretty fast. And I mean, the way, like, yeah, like the the views are like five hundred milliseconds there. So you, it's like small back that co climate thing. That's right. probably the way to go, isn't it? Just to get that out to get it. A bit more performance. Any proof that people are using the information at the moment? Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess what it is. The other one is like the commit count. We've got a we've got a background job that's populating that, and then right. it loads up. And then I think if we wanted to have that in there, we could do a background job. We could do a background job, and then it's like just added and and so on. So, um, uh, I mean, it's probably like it's sensible to have at least in you know in order to avoid the m plus one query what's it i don't know i mean that may actually just make it slower um if it's not i mean there's that separate thing of the this sidebar something about the way that it's doing it is i think preventing it from being efficient so what do you want me to do i guess this is uh well Probably remove that that element from the. Uh, it was it was it was a nice a nice feature. I, I guess I'll just put everything back in and check our performance. But yeah, if you go into the, the listing, not HTML or ERB for projects. 
I don't know if we have a feature test checking for that. They may need to be disabled. Mm, let's put the sidebars back in. Probably do actually have a feature test for that. I don't want to run 10 minutes of scrap. No, no, no. Uh, well, I mean, you. Yeah. Find and pass. Code climb up. Yeah, we've got one in the uh, list projects feature. Where? Uh, features projects list projects uh, line. Uh, what's it gone? Line sixty three. Wait, so projects list projects line sixty three. Uh, it's just sixty three. So if I just comment that out. Yes, and interestingly, the M plus one query thing actually slows things down. So I think we sensibly don't make any changes anywhere else. Hmm. So... We can just let CI take care of that. Yeah. Running it. Yeah. You you removed that section of the uh, what have you the listing. Uh yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh well there we go. It's almost time for this scrum. Oh, perfect timing. Uh greetings to our viewers. Um we are Agile Ventures. Um Come and find out more about us and about coding uh, for, for fun and profit. For, well, not much profit, really, but uh, but for fun and for making the world a better place. And uh, well, potentially profit, because, you know, you practice the skills here, you get a real job. Uh, that was some performance tuning, website one. Uh, 11 viewers, yes. Uh, Adventures.org. Come and sign up, get a free invite to our Slack instance, and find out all about uh, what we do. All right, bye for now. See you in the scrum. <laughs>